Right, I'm just um, by the men's on Highgate men's bathing pond in Hampstead Heath. And I'm here because um, in the last few weeks, I think it was, um, at the beginning of May, the Corporation of London uh, released the was, you know, the findings from their consultation on gender identity. The Corporation of London is like the council for the City of London, but it also extends to other places in London of significance like Hampstead Heath. And it's run by a man who calls himself a, a non-binary person. So not a man, he would call himself um, a, a guy called Edward Lord OBE. So he's got an OBE, and he's also in the, the Masons, but he says he's not a man, he's neither a man or a woman, he's non-binary. And um, after throwing away, I think over 50,000 people responded to the consultation, and um, they chucked out over 17,000 of these responses because they said that they didn't answer the questions properly. Um, so, um, with the remaining results, they um, decided that the overwhelming majority of people supported gender as self-ID, um, which is basically replacing sex as a protected characteristic on the Equality Act with gender identity which isn't in the Equality Act, it's just got um, gender reassignment, which it, you know, could be construed to mean gender identity. Anyway, I've decided to come up here this morning because there was a lot of press about um, this decision by the Corporation of London um, to get rid of sex segregated spaces. And obviously, um, Hampstead Heath is probably the, people who don't know, Hampstead Heath is probably the nicest park in London. It's huge. It's um, it's, it's not just a park, it's a heath, as it says, and it's got amazing facilities here, as well as uh, swimming Lido. Um, they have three ponds where you can swim, natural ponds. I think they used to be reservoirs, and one is for men, and one is for women, and they're on the Highgate side of the heath, and then on the other side of the heath, there's the mixed pond. So I, I've spent a lot of amazing times at both the ladies and the mixed pond. Um, the mixed pond is where I go with my f male friends and my family and my kids, um, and it's a really special place to swim. I think it's great for um, my boys to learn to dive there and just realise that swimming in water isn't just, you know, a blue chlorinated rectangle, but um, but it actually, you know, it's, it's holding yourself in a body of water. I'm a great. Um, lover of swimming. I've also spent many amazing days at the, um, the ladies pond. It's, I think it's called the Kenwood ladies pond. It's um, much more beautiful in some ways than, and, and secluded than the mixed pond. And it's um, the several meadows there and women can go and um, you know just know that they're in a female only environment it's uh they used to have a sign up um which said no men no boys no babies and um actually that was my first ever facebook ban for sharing a photo of that sign as my profile photo anyway i'm here um i've never been to the men's pond before because i'm not um really a man but now that the Corporation of London believes that um, a man is not an adult human male, like I would have, like I define it. Um, they're saying that it's a feeling that you have, whether you're a man or a woman, or neither or both. So I am going to go and have a swim at the men's pond. I'm really quite nervous for two reasons. I, um, I, I'm a bit nervous of the confrontation. I don't know what they're going to say, whether they're going to say um, that I can't come in. Um, or if I can, I'm quite scared that I, I've got to go into the icy May water. There's a bloke swimming in here at the moment. Oh, there's two, so, um, you know, I'm hoping to have as much courage as these two brave men 
to um, get into this cold body of water if they let me. Anyway, I'm not going to film it because I think that's invasive of the men there. And obviously, I support their right for a male-only space. It's got a long history of being a great place for gay men to come and meet each other. And I, I totally think that men should be able to gather in the same way that women should be able to gather. Obviously, women have more of a reason because we're more vulnerable on the basis of our size, our, you know, our sex, and um, the sheer number of um, predatory men around the place. Anyway, I'm going to turn it off now, and I'm going to record when I go in there. Bye. Wish me luck. Hi again. So I've just had my swim at the Highgate men's bathing pond. And um, I have to say, first of all, it was a really nice swim. I um, I never knew, um, but apparently everyone here knows, that um, the men's pond is much warmer than the women's pond. Um, because it's shallower, I suppose, and it has more sunlight on it. So I was... One of the things I was really scared about um, coming here was getting really cold, having to swim. But actually, it was, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of swimming, and it was lovely. I um, was also scared of the confrontation that might occur as a woman, uh, gender-free, non-binary man, in um, the men's pond. So when I was, um, I walked in. I was absolutely terrified and um, just because not of, of the men but just because of the confrontation and immediately a man came up to me and um, in the changing area um, and sort of sunbathing changing area and I said and said that it was the men's pond and I said I was a gender free non-binary man and he said oh, okay I'm just telling you because some women come in here they don't know and I said thank you you guys have to talk to the lifeguard about that. Um, so I I didn't get naked. I already had my swimming shorts on and just took my T-shirt off. I had a bikini on, top on. Um, I don't really like going topless even at the women's pond anyway. So I walked down there and then the, the lifeguard came up to me and said, excuse me, this is the men's pond. I said, I'm a gender-free non-binary man. And he was quite cross, and he said, well, there's a mixed pond. And I said, yes, but I'm a man, and I want to come in the men's pond, something like that. And um, he told me that I, I think he said, I was cheapening a sensitive issue. Um, and I said I was, I didn't think I was cheapening a sensitive issue. I was um, raising the sensitive issue. And he said, okay. And so he let me swim, and I had a really nice swim. And then I came out, and I said, um, he, he came up to me and asked me to clarify my, my position. So I said I was a gender-free, non-binary man. And um, he said he didn't want to have the conversation and walked away. I went in and got changed, had a shower. There was no one else in the shower. And um, got my clothes on. And then I, um, and then a man who I'd seen diving and sort of said hello to in the pool came up to me, came out after me and wanted to know, Spanish guy wanted to know what it was about. I'm not sure if he really understood it. I had a chat with a few other people, and that's it. So I would just say, um, I don't, I, I, I don't want to um, invade the men's pond and men's spaces but I will until our women's, sa women's spaces are saved um, and that's it I, I encourage everyone else to do the same and plus because the water is warmer so that's a bonus okay <laughs>